Hello, everyone. Welcome to Reverend Patty's Inspiration Station podcast, where one can awaken to the inner ticker of life, live in truth, and let your spirit soar, and travel with me beyond the pulpit and into the garden. Welcome to my 180th podcast. It's been a while. I had to take a break while dealing with life on life's terms. This week our topic is trusting in God. Sometimes a physical storm can collide with an emotional storm whereby they exist side by side. Emotional storms have a front door that blow in, turning life upside down, and a back door with drama exiting at a snail's pace, causing more desolation. I can certainly relate to that. As I was contemplating what to do last week, relating to the hurricane that came to visit my state, whether to stay or leave, a friend reminded me, God is bigger than any storm. After hearing these encouraging words, I walked around the outside of my home, praying Psalm 91 while rebuking the wind and the waves. The psalmist writes, His massive arms are wrapped around you, protecting you, you can run under his covering of majesty and hide. His arms of faithfulness are a shield keeping you from harm. Now let us reflect and pray. God holds the stormy waters in the hollow of his hand. Jesus walked on the water, rebuking the wind and the waves to help his friends. They forget that when the earth was without form and void, the Spirit of God brooded in the chaos and darkness, creating the heavens and the earth. They cannot detect the voice of our Creator saying, Behold, I make all things new. Out of chaos is born the cosmos. Each age ends in travail out of which a new era comes about. Don't forget to visit sacredwalkhome.com. Here you can sign up for free to follow Reverend Patty's Inspiration Station blog posts or listen to this podcast on the platform of your choice. Let's stay connected. Until next time, from one spiritual gardener to another, plant you and dig you later Amen. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you discovered this is a space where you can stand tall with a heart that sings, stay in honor with ears to hear, and as always, be blessed.